Okay, so I'm just gonna make a snowflake, and I want to make this quick because all my other videos, whenever I try to make a, a video of snowflakes, you know, it was pretty long. It was like 10 minutes, 20 minutes long somehow. So I'm gonna try to make this one quick, uh, but it's gonna be easy. It's easier than you think. Um, I'm gonna change the background to gray since that's something I like doing. Um, make a new layer. Make sure it's transparent. And then this is all what you have to do. Just go start in the middle. You can use this to help you be guided in the middle. And um, just click there and then just make stuff. And it can be anything. I'm just going to make a bunch of spikes. Just because snowflakes kind of have spikes. And then change the color to white. Stroke path. I made mine five pixels. What uh, I just did, but that's because um, since this is 1,000 by 1,000, it's not so big. If it was smaller than that, then I would change the I would change the width, right? This is the line width smaller. If this was smaller, if this was bigger, I'd probably make this more bigger. But I chose five, and um, well, that's that. Um, I'm not gonna redo anything. I'm just gonna keep it the way it is. So, you make a duplicate layer of that, get the rotating tool, rotate it 90 degrees, and then you have that. Then you merge that layer down, and then make a duplicate layer of that again, and then this time you rotate it 180 degrees. So now we have this. And then I merge that down. Um, I'm going to make a duplicate layer of that one. You don't have to do this part, but since this looks like it's kind of empty on the sides, I'm going to I'm going to uh, do this. And then I'm going to rotate this 45 degrees, and then now I have something that looks like this, which is like a pretty big snowflake now. And then I'm going to merge that down, and then make another duplicate layer of that, and then select a color I want the the glow effect to look like, and I'm going to choose blue. Make it blue, and then put uh, and then go to filters, blur, then a Gaussian blur, and then I think um, 20 would probably be a decent one, or let's just do 30. Okay, so we do 30, and then to make it darker, use a duplicate layer of that one, and then merge that down, and then put it underneath the white layer. And uh, when you're doing this in person, you notice well why I'm doing this but you get the blur tool make sure you're on the white layer change the rate to one go to filters blur then blur and then it'll just make it have, uh, look a little bit more softer and you'll notice it when um, you're doing this not by the video and then you merge that down and then now we have this thing and that was pretty pretty easy to do and to uh... let's just make it a little bit smaller so I'm going to resize it um... lock the perspective or aspect and then resize this to make it a little bit smaller you don't have to do this if you didn't make yours big I'm just doing this to try and help uh, make it easier to understand what I'm doing but I'll just skip that if yours um, was already small I'm gonna make a duplicate layer of that and then another another one uh, let me hide these two and then to change the wet the um the um the way it looks I'm not sure what to call it I forgot oh boy you just change the angles of the, the snowflake um if you have trouble trying to figure out how to change the angles just get a piece of paper and change it then you notice like the farther it's in the back the more smaller the lines are and I mean, you, you see, like now it's kind of at a different angle. Not so great, but I'm trying to make this easy. I meant quick. Um, now let's change this one. It would be easier if um your picture wasn't that big as mine. So uh, use the perspective thing, and then I'm gonna make this one kind of like laying down. 
so it would look something like this. So now that one looks like it's sort of laying down. And then the last one. Let's make a duplicate layer just in case. And then I'm going to make this one do something a lot different. Like. kind of sideways laying down something like that so now we have one that looks like this too it's laying down sort of sideways ish and well that's pretty much that how to make a snowflake and then change the angles now if you want to change the color, all you have to do is get the paintbrush, put the hue mode on, make that really big, the brush scale, and then all you have to do is select the color that you want and then just change it. Oh, first let me change the background of black so this will look really nice. See it looks nice on black. But then now you just do what I just told you earlier uh, about the paintbrush and then you just paint over it and then that's it changes the color of it. It's so like if you want to change the color you don't have to start all over you can just get the paintbrush put the mode on hue and then just choose the paint that you want to change the color to and then it will change the color to that. So that's, that's you know it's helpful tips it's really easy to do and um if you was looking for help or something I hope that I did help you but I guess this is just going to be it for now and well that's pretty much how you make the snowflake that I did and that's how I made all these there's only three different kinds here though but well that's pretty much it I hope this helped you if you were looking for help